Hey Natasha, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I, uh, I, I had a good start to my day. How about yours? Ever just check in with yourself and see how things are really? That's all part of uh, your health and wellness. And I'm Natasha Koch with the Van City Home Team and welcome to this week's Wednesday Wellness. I am not a wellness expert. I'm actually a real estate agent with the Van City Home Team and EXP Realty. But I do this show because I want to be able to help you, help yourself, and help me achieve health and wellness on a daily basis because, of course, if you start there, everything else will uh, be much, much easier. So this week on our Wednesday Wellness, we're going to talk about checking in with yourself. We're going to talk about emotional wellness and 20 questions for your emotional wellness. Now, I'm not going to go through all 20 questions, but I will go through the top three. If you would like to have all 20 so that you can ask yourself, uh, please say hit me up in the comments below and I will hit you up with the 20 questions. So let's talk about how you actually check in with yourself because it probably didn't or doesn't look like I just did it. Uh, but one of the three ways that you can do that is to dedicate some self-reflection time. So choose a time of day when, you know, uh, it's not going to be interrupted by kids or phone calls or anything like that. And, uh, you know, turn on your favorite music and just have a good thinking session. You know, uh, one of my most favorite things is when I'm driving. So if I have a long drive ahead of me, I actually don't want to put on the music because I don't want to interrupt my thoughts. But that's the best time. I love it. I think about all kinds of things I want in my future and I feel them. Number two, journaling. Now I'm not really, really a lover of journaling, but if you express yourself, it's the best way to do it. And you can go back and track it, which is even better. So grab a notebook and set aside a quick, you know, daily writing session. One minute is better than none. Somebody told me uh, none, or sorry, done is better than none. And so it doesn't have to be perfect, just do it. Uh, number three, meditation. Mindfulness is all about becoming aware of your emotions and watching them pass. So bringing yourself to center, you've probably heard that before. Um, you know, the meditation seat is an excellent place to work on the skill of checking in and then let go. So if something's bothering you, you know, uh, you know, someone said something that you didn't like, just sit down, um, acknowledge it and be mindful of it and then let it go. Here are the top three questions that you can ask yourself on being present will be number one. So how present are you? How do you feel right now? How can I express my gratitude today? Am I fighting life or inviting life? Is the stress in my life accumulating from a lack of play? So go have fun everybody. And in what ways am I avoiding the truth? So those are some great questions that you can ask yourself on being present. Number two, on gratitude. Uh, is there something I did or quality I have that can acknowledge and appreciate? Of course there is. What do you love about yourself? What is the most loving and supportive thing that I can do for myself right now? Maybe it's go have a bath or go for a walk or just go and, you know, watch HGTV, <laughs> which is something probably I would do. Is there a boundary I can communicate as, I, as a way to respect my own needs? When I listen to my body, what does it need? A deep breath, movement, nourishment? You know, we are pretty smart. We usually know exactly what's wrong. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the doctor and I know exactly what he needs to do for me or she needs to do for you. I'm sure you felt the same way. And the last question is, can I do it on my own? Uh, if not, who can I reach out to help me achieve that? You've got some accountability out there, reach out to that accountability. All right, number three, dealing with change. So life has twists and turns and it's not easy to deal with change, especially if you're a creature of habit and you like consistency. So what am I holding on to and what would the benefit be if I let it go? And what am I excited to focus on? What uh, I will create this, this new space from or who am I checking in on connecting with today? And what can I do to take care of myself today? These are things that you can ask yourself to move through dealing with change. 
So there are several others on navigating difficult situations and many, many more. If this was enjoyable to you, I hope you join us on our next Wednesday Wellness. Obviously, we were talking about emotional wellness today, uh, but we go through all four quadrants of uh, health and wellness. So click on the subscribe button if you like the info and you'll be notified every time there is new um, topics out there. And hit me up in the comments if you want a copy of all 20 questions to ask yourself. Talk to you later, everybody. Have a great week. Thank you.